All right, here is a quick walkthrough of the apps integration, which is the active pieces open source platform being integrated within our platform. So now when you're creating an automation, you have four different options. You have the guided builder, which is the newest version of recording that we added. Um, you have apps, which is the active pieces portion, the Zapier Pabli style building, the API based automations. And then you have our recorded templates and the manual recorder. So what apps allows you to do is it has some native integrations with other flows or other products that such as Airtable or Google Sheets that are going to allow you to be um, a little bit more specific with your data, not leave as much up to chance and hopefully integrate with a couple other things that maybe it's hard to receive those events um, without doing it this way. Whatever the case may be, there's situations where browser-based recording is better and there's situations where API-based automations are better. And this is allowing you to decide which one's gonna be better based on if it's available or not, basically, and then move forward based on that. So what you're gonna be able to do is, is you can have an apps flow that starts that triggers a task magic flow to start. It can either wait for that to complete or it can start the next step immediately after starting the automation. And what that allows you to do is it says, I want to do these couple steps. And then because there's no API, let's have task magic's recorder go do this and this. And then I want to continue with these other steps. Or you can have task magic, the recording, go do a couple of things. And then when you're done, you either want to send all the data somewhere or you want to start some other flow. This is the best way for you to manage that back and forth between API based automations and um, all of the browser based automations, hopefully allowing you to move off of any platforms like Zapier, Pabli, things like that, and have all of your automations in one place um, covering most purposes. So one example that I'll go through is task magic sending data to active pieces. What you're going to be able to do is start with the task magic trigger here. The rest of these triggers will be figured out later. But what this will allow you to do is have some sort of webhook URL that you can either, let me go to one automation, you can either end your automation by sending the data to that webhook, which allows you to export all of the scrape data and then put it inside any app that you want, or you can add a step in the middle of your automation, which is going to run one of the apps automations in the middle of the recorded automation. So for example, it would go and type in my username and then it would start the apps flow. And then whatever the apps flow finishes with um, or returns with, we can have task magic work with that data um, or we can have it, or we can send it back to task magic, whatever we want to do, we can, we can receive the data from apps and use it in this automation and vice versa. So that's what the active pieces and slash apps integration is going to look like. Looking forward to getting this live to everybody. We're wrapping up some internal testing and then we will be pushing this as soon as possible.